So let's see what this video has to say about Pride, because I have a feeling they're going to have an issue with the rainbow and not the capitalism. Well, they, they need skin in the game. I think there's a lot of, um, and I have my ideas, there's ways that we do it, right? We, what we make into our system here at the Riververse to, to give the creators some sort of skin in the game, right? Because I think that when you write, you, you write differently when it's like, this is somehow an impact of, of, of um, like I have some sort of a, of a benefit or a loss for that matter, contingent on how good or not good that this does. True. I think that's dis that's the disconnect. A lot of these guys, almost ninety percent in the industry, industry, like they're contract workers, bro. Uh, and and I'm not saying, I mean, that's nothing inherently wrong with that. But what I'm saying is, it's not like beneficial ones either. It's not it, they gonna get their money, fucker, regardless. It, it is what it is. So a lot of these people run a care. So already, right away, exactly as I expected. Capitalism, corporations. That's exactly. It's the society we all live in. So we've established that. Now that that's been established, where are we going to go with this? I'm very curious where we're going to go with this because once we've established that people are working for money, and that is the primary reason that a lot of people have jobs because we live in a world where you have to have money to survive, to live. Um, where are we going to go with the rest of this? Because once we've established that, I don't think there's a lot of other talking points when it comes to going after pride uh, merchandise or going after comic books or whatever. Let's see. If they're into the ground and they move on to the next shit and it's like, I got fucking paid. Oh, your brand's fucking dead? <laughs> Hell, I moved to the next product. Shit. <laughs> I, I, I moved to the next product. I moved to the next company. Go fuck that shit up. Yeah. Right? So it, it's, they need some sort of skin in the game, man. Just like, they again, and I say so are you blaming the people working for a living or are you blaming the companies? What's the stance that you're taking there? I don't understand that that reaction. Are you like, oh, the people that are fucking up the companies are responsible for doing it because they're just trying to make a living? Or are you on the side of the corporations who made mistakes in hiring people under contract? Which which stance are you taking there? I have no clue what position you're holding with that comment benefit as well it's like someone with the royalty system could be rebuilt and built you know just built better in general absolutely just, to, just to, give, yeah an incentive for say yeah incentive right that's what they need like they need the incentive to like okay this is a reflection of your work man um you got to come in giving a fuck about it you can't afford not to <laughs> this is coming from the same person that employs people who use 3d assets in their artwork and then he lies about it and then he lied air july lies about it there's nothing inherently wrong with artists cutting corners here and there in their work if the overall work does not suffer from cutting those corners, because that's the difference. You want to be able to utilize things to help you in the creation process. They make it easier for you to be able to create and make great stuff. But once that stuff starts to interfere with the quality of the product you're putting out, then it is no longer a a corner cutting cost cutting thing at that point it becomes a detriment to the company so eric is sitting here acting as if the work that he is putting out the books that he is putting out are like these high level high art amazing graphic novels that are the epitome of like art and writing and all of that and it's just not you're just lucky you have a bunch of people who are willing to spend money on your merch you know and that's not what we have. I feel like we got a bunch of guys that just in it just to be fucking in it. Don't really give a fuck about it. Oftentimes, it's just a little stepping stool for their fucking careers as fucking, I don't know, script writers and shit. That's the, that's the feeling I get. Oh, 100. And yeah, on and the the, when, when you got people are always thinking bigger and better. What I love that As says 100. <laughs> like, he fucking knows. Like, like, you give a shit. You know what I mean? Like, give me a break. The fuck are you doing there in the first place? Yeah. There's nothing wrong with having ambition. Nothing Not wrong at all. with having ambition. No, no. But when you're when you're at a certain place, you've got to perform. You've got to perform well. Because if you do perform well, then actually, what? Guess what? It gives you credence when you move on to your next thing. It happens organically. It's one thing to, let's say, write a comic, and your aspiration, your true aspiration, is to have that be adopted in a movie. Which I feel like there was a whole. So are are they arguing? Hold on, I'm trying to figure this out. Are they arguing that the people who are doing this contract work, these people going in, are purposely writing bad stuff? Because there's always the potential that when you make something, it's not going to be good. Like, yes, you can go into it with the best intentions. You can go into it and you can think you're writing or drawing your ass off, right? You can do that. And then it just ends up not being good. But that's not 
I don't think that's the position they're taking here. I think the position they're taking is that there are people in the industry right now working who are actively trying to make bad content. That's a weird position to take. Wave of people that, that approached uh, Marvel and DC with that line of thinking. But it's another to say, I just want to make a good comic first. I just want to make something that people enjoy first. If it ends up being adopted in something out of print, that's because it was so good that it was undeniable. I'm mm. not writing it with that intention, though. Mm. Are you writing it with this intention? Fucking hell. Here's all eight. Eight! It might as well be toilet paper. Why? Have you read the books? Have you read the comics as? If you're saying that you want to wipe your ass with these comic books because they have queer characters on the covers, do I have to say it? I don't think I have to say it. I think it's pretty obvious what's happening here. All eight Marvel Voices Parade variant covers are here. Oh my God. Look, it's uh, it's America gay. It's uh, gay. Oh. It's uh, gay. Gay Lee's. Uh, you know, uh, we got a, a probably a gay Spider Man, yeah, yeah, of course, the uh, gay Spideys, yay, uh, gay devil. So, you don't even either you're just being purposely misleading here, or you do not know what you're talking about. There was drama around these particular comics because they were focusing on allyship, which means they were pulling back on the queer representation to make it more ally forward that's what they're doing here so either you're again not paying enough attention to even provide information for the people that are watching you or uh, do i have to say it you just don't like gay people and therefore it doesn't matter even if it were a comic book about a gay character that wasn't specifically about pride you would most likely still complain. Oh, I know you would because you've done it in the past. So why are we pretending that these pride comics somehow have changed your opinion about Marvel as of recent? Cause you haven't been reading the comics for a long time, according to you and Eric. Uh, 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 gay Valkyrie, uh, oh, Bobby. Oh, oh my God. That actually looks like a woman as well. Now. Great. Bobby now looks like a woman. And, uh, thinking about it the trinity of thinking about it with another woman that's immediately where as his mind goes matter of fact we're only four minutes into this video but i saw like a super cut of as making gestures with his hands sometimes with two of them beside his face and stuff his mind immediately goes to sex about anything i look at this picture and i'm like oh okay it's kind of cool artwork not sure if i like these three characters together i'm very curious to see about you know what black cat's going to be doing in here and i like valkyrie jackpot's not my favorite character but okay we'll see what they're going to do with her um that's where my mind goes his mind immediately goes to the three of them doing something together but but we're we're the degenerates we're the bad ones who's the chick in the front the black chick I don't know, fucking Michael Burnham from Star Trek. I don't fucking care. Valkyrie? No, no idea. You just made a joke about it. <clears throat> well, we got our answer. I know we asked about this uh, the other, like, we were talking about this, did an entire segment, like, who is it? Who's it going to be? Is Pride Month coming up? See, uh, see these LGBTQIA plus. Where's the two spirit, you fucking bigots? The two spirit is not included because that is a Canadian thing. All right, let's go on. Characters team up with their fellow muff divers. Nobody fucking cares. If no one cares, why are you talking about it? See, that's why you guys are fucking clowns. If no one cares about this stuff, you would not be talking about it. So when you say that, it's cope language. It's lying, it's cap, because you know that your viewers care about it because you're talking about it. This is all performative bravado shit. 
toilet paper. It's toilet paper. So now he's moved on to saying that he wants to wipe his ass with materials about queer people. I just... It's also exhausting for me. And when I say that, I don't mean like I'm going to stop covering this stuff because I've got a whole month to really sort of put these people in their place. But the thing is, for me personally, if I were to say that, not even me, what would happen if someone from Marvel or DC or somebody in Star Wars called these guys their, their content toilet paper? They hate us. They don't want us to watch their stuff. They would freak out. They would be so mad about it, but they have no problem saying that about all this other stuff. It's it's always a double standard. It's always hypocrisy with these guys. Always. 100% guaranteed. Man, what this industry is missing so much is genuine intrigue, bro. Like, that's so forced. And, and look, I get it, man. It's the well, month. I, I actually don't well, get it. When I say I, I get it, I mean, it's like, they're looking at it, and I don't know who's bright idea. Maybe it is just for points, maybe among their peers, which is what we're discussing. Because I, I'd hope that they're not going into it like, "Hey, it's Pride Month, and we're just going to make a lot of money off of these comments." Um, you mean like what you guys are doing right now, talking about Pride Month? I mean, that's literally why you're talking about it. Let me break this down for you. So they're saying that they don't like the fact that Marvel is making Pride merchandise to try and sell it to people, even though they claim that no one cares about it. All while they are making videos talking about Marvel's Pride Month content in order to get clicks on their videos to make money while talking about Marvel Pride. But somehow there's an issue with Marvel and the writers and the artists. It's an issue with them making their content to sell to people, but there's no problem with Eric and Az making these videos talking about it to sell to their viewers. And when I say sell, I mean like with super chats, super thanks, subscriptions, uh, time investment where they have to watch ads. It's It all funnels to the same place. So for them, there's no issue with them capitalizing on all of this. But there's an issue with people who may or may not actually give a shit making those things to make money for marvel again double standard i'm not sure about that one but it, it's it, it comes off cheap and yeah i get it it's comics comics have had their gimmicks but especially with the, industry- the gimmick is sucking dick I, well that's not really a gimmick at all to be honest. That's no, true. i knew he would he if i got on camera and said that as often as he does People would have already blacklisted me. Oh, this guy can't talk. stop talking about sucking men off. He can't stop doing it. It's really weird. It's really gross. I don't want to see him do it. As keeps doing it, and for some reason, when a straight man, when a straight man does it, oh, it's funny now. Now it's silly. It's not a gimmick. It's not really a gimmick. That's, that's a good point. It's not, it's it's not they killed everyone off in the 2000s. They made them all suck dick. So you, it's not yeah. a gimmick. It's not really a gimmick. That is fair. That is fair. Um, it's not really a gimmick. No. I, it's, I don't know what exactly to call it. But So it's not a gimmick. Then what is it? It's genuine then. It's genuine. Okay. So now, as admitting that it's not a gimmick... Eric has somewhat agreed with as that it's not a gimmick. So it has to be genuine, right? That's the only other option. But it is um, like toilet paper. <laughs> toilet paper. The the game is missing intrigue. It, it, it's I've said it a million times. It's missing intrigue. It's missing enthusiasm. It's missing, you know, people need something to look forward to. This is why I was hearing you out and I heard the audience out on the whole like. You know. It's almost like these are out of continuity special comic books made specifically for pride that's kind of weird right like these comic books are just pride edition comic books there doesn't need to be any massive intrigue about it they're doing it to give back to the community so that people who are part of the community of the lgbtqi plus will have something to look forward to during pride month where they can pick up a comic book and see characters that may not have a running title. They may not be the lead of a team. They may not get a lot of time. Otherwise 
actually have a comic book where they can pick it up and read it and have a little fun in that story. It doesn't need to be some murder mystery or a deep story or whatever. I mean, Lord knows, Eric, your comic books, they have the depth of like a small pond. You, there's just nothing there. It's an empty pond with maybe one fish in it. And like how we did campaigns and not stopping it all together because, you know, it did sort of inject some level of um, enthusiasm, which is what is missing. And uh, that's, I think it's industry wide. I'd love to hear. Oh, so, so Marvel needs to make statues. What kind of fucking advice is that? Your thoughts on this ass, but you know, we were just talking about fall guy and talking about some of these movies that even, even ones that are seen as favorable are not doing well. Budget. Right. It's almost as if it's not a woke thing. It's almost as if it's not some diversity thing. It's almost like the industry, all entertainment industries, are going through a transitional period on what consumers are willing to spend their money on. It's almost like there's an issue with the economy or there's an issue with engagement that goes outside of it being, quote unquote, woke or diversity or MCU. It's almost like there's something else happening. You, you're right there. You're so close. It is one part of it. I don't think it's the only part of it, but absolutely, Hollywood budgets are out of fucking control. The Hollywood budgets have nothing to do with whether or not people want to see movies. What does the Hollywood budget have to do with a movie that people don't go and see? Explain that to me. That is a secondary factor into why a movie doesn't perform well. The only people that care about those budgets or should care about those budgets are the people in the studios who bankrolled the film. The average consumer doesn't go, oh, that movie was a $200 million movie, so I need to go see it to make sure it makes its budget back. I don't know anybody who consumes media that way. You guys are so wrapped up in the finances that you don't even seem to understand that people go and see and engage with things that they want to, that they can afford to go to. They don't give a fuck about the budget of the movie. They're not thinking about that. It's, it's apathy. Apathy is yeah. the killer. Not hate. Apathy is the killer. You, you have put so much shit out, garbage, that you have attuned your audience not to go to the cinema. This is, this is the problem with... You mean like the fact that Eric's campaigns have suffered each time? That numbers aren't always trending up? It's almost like he keeps putting out content that people don't like, that, that people have actually talked about, whether it be detractors, whatever, on streams here and there that they were not happy with the product and so they walked away from it it's almost like that's reflective of the ripaverse but then that would require a little bit of reflection and accountability anti-marketing they think it's so initially they thought it's so edgy it's so fucking edgy no you're programming your audience to tell you to fuck off and then when your audience is sick and tired of telling you to fuck off this is not what they want apathy sets in and they go i don't care anymore do the so Let's let's put all this together. Eric and Az are part of that community that wants to see everything crumble down so that, that everything can be decentralized and independent art, independent creators can essentially make their own stuff. This is a position that I've heard Eric talk about multiple times. I've heard Az talk about it when I can bear to listen to Az and other people in the space say that. So if you want the whole system to crash down, why do you keep talking about it like you care? Because you don't. You don't care. If you want to see Hollywood burn to the ground, stop acting surprised that they're doing that because that is exactly what you want. They're actively doing what you want them to do. So there should be no issues with it. There should be no problem with what they're doing. They are... Uh, exacerbating and, and racing to the end the goal that you want from all of this, which is the dismantling of, of all of this centralization. That's what you want, right? So it should not be a problem, correct? Sounds to me like you should be happy about this. You should be making videos celebrating that Marvel is apparently on its way out. Fuck what you want. Have Superman blowing fucking Tim Drake for all I care. Nobody oh, gives a again, shit. I don't about sex. fucking care. Have fun. Anyway. You don't care, but you mention it every every clip that I see where you're talking about gay characters. You literally talk about gay sex. Every single one. 
every single one you do it and then eric laughs about it covers his face because I'm, I'm i think he's probably tired of you saying it too you say it every single time like in your mind you must be picturing it you must be thinking about it you're probably scrolling through your phone looking for like ai versions of all of this stuff so you have some material for when you go to wipe your ass hey look hey look no way it's it jonathan jonathan can't suck it up to drink hey no, no, you just and you know why that's so uh histrionic and performative? That's not happening in comic books. That's not happening. Show me the comic book where that is actually happening. You cannot because it is not. Just like that, you just make fun. <laughs> Don't care. So what so when you got a load of crap at the cinema, constantly crap, 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 big budget, crap. It's a spectacle, it's a spectacle of crap. Oh shit, look, have you seen this thing a million times? Well, guess what? Get ready to see it a million So are you arguing that Furiosa is crap? Considering that it's liked by the critics, it's liked by fans, even people in your space say that it's really good. That one of their big selling points, which doesn't fucking matter to me, is it's not woke. But apparently that's crap. Apparently Fall Guy, a movie that also was pretty good, apparently that one underperforming means that it's crap. What, does, what qualifications does As have when it comes to any of this business. What qualifications does he have? At the very least, Eric runs a company. What does Az do? Az sits on his ass at a desk with his microphone and acts like he has the answers to every single business problem that all of these companies have. Look, here's the newsflash. If Az was a business genius and he had all the answers, he would not be doing this. This would not be what Az is doing. Az would not be sitting in an office talking to a bunch of people on YouTube about having all the answers to these things. He'd be working for a company, making a ton of money for them. But the reality is he doesn't have all the answers. And here we are. Million and one. The audience is just like, oh, oh, I just can't. I, I'm spending, I'm going to the cinema. I'm spending a fortune. I'm spending $20 on a fucking ticket. I'm, I'm, I'm buying popcorn. I'm bringing a girlfriend or my family and I, I'm buying them shit. It's well, that, that's a lie. You're not bringing a girlfriend. You're not bringing a girlfriend. I believe you're paying that much for your movie ticket, but I don't believe you're bringing a girlfriend. It's me an absolute fortune, and I'm sat there, and I'm looking at a bunch of fucking retards on the screen with a budget of 60 gazillion dollars because it's all just a fucking money laundering campaign so that some prick at Collider with the IQ of a fucked rabbit can tell me, oh my God, did you see the end credit scene? I'm going to say this in the most disrespectful way possible as you can just shut the fuck up like you could it's it is possible you could stop going to these movies stop spending money on them stop reading the comics i mean you said you already have stop watching the shows you said you already did that too you could literally just walk away from all of this today and never have to worry about it again but you won't because you actually love the content you're engaging with there's a certain point where this concern about quality goes away and you're going to see things that you might perceive as bad because you actually like those things. And you just can't, you're, you're, you cannot rationalize it in your mind. Like, why do I like these things? Why, why am I going to see these things? Why am I spending all my money on something that I keep calling stupid and dumb and garbage? Why do I do that? You could simply just not do it. No one is forcing you to do any of these things. You could literally just shut the fuck up. I don't care. <clears throat> but you do. Damn, man. Yeah. You do care. You just screamed. You just ranted for like two and a half, three minutes about it. So clearly, clearly you do care. Clearly. Unless there's some mental instability going on in your peanut brain. Between thinking about gay sex and the Saska sisters, there's that little space there where you cannot get away from media. <laughs> you can't escape it. Everyone's forcing you to go to the movies to watch the next Marvel movie. Everybody's forcing you to go to the movies to watch a DC movie. Everybody's forcing you to watch bad TV shows. You are such a victim. You're such a victim of all of this entertainment that you can literally not pay any attention to. Somehow all of this is oppressing you 
even though you have a wall of comic books behind you that no one gives a fuck about, locked up in cages with signatures on them, you have a lot of things you could be doing that you love, but you would rather sit on stream every single week and complain about the stuff that no one is forcing you to watch. Talking about gay sex like you are on Grinder and you know all about every position that every gay person has ever done. It's giving a lot of that. I mean, it is Pride Month. You could you could just come out, like you could come out as, I mean, we don't want you, but you could definitely come out. Yeah, it's, when I say industry-wide, I'm talking entertainment. Um, it's not unique to comics. What got there first, who they tapped into first, don't not even important to at least what the point that I'm trying to make. But they all suffer from the same problem, at least mainstream. That's that, that they just, they can't get people enthusiastic enough to spend money. That is such a dumb criticism. They can't get people enthusiastic. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Seriously, what the fuck does that even mean? Are you mad that Marvel can't get their fans fighting with other people? I can see it now. Kevin Feige comes out in front of all of the Marvel fans somewhere and going, I want my fans or the fans of Marvel, I want you to argue on behalf of of me i'm gonna chill because i'm moving differently in 2024 i'm moving differently i'm not gonna argue with people i want all of our fans to argue for us could you imagine if that's what kevin feige did what the reaction would be from eric and anybody in this space because they're saying i guess that's how you build enthusiasm you build enthusiasm by deferring all of that aggression onto the fans of your content apparently that's how you do it these two guys add nothing to this debate they had nothing to this conversation and i cannot believe that a bunch of people still listen to them like they have all the answers i don't have the answers and these guys don't have the answers none of us know what it's like to run these massive corporations even eric with his business sense doesn't know what it's like to run these kinds of corporations so it's all just a bunch of bullshit 